before we move on, let's take a look at one important thing. We have all these keys in here, and they're in here for a reason. We want to be able to see if we can really access all of these keys with our current key organizer. So if we take a look just here at the bottom, uh, you may see that there are places where I can put these keys where I cannot access them easily using these little thumb things that I built in. So how can we fix that? Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your front and your back are closed out. You don't want those accessible right now. Reason being, if I have you go to try to edit one of these parts without doing that first, uh, what you're going to run into is that it'll just open up that part, and we want to see the keys under it as a reference. So I'm going to double click here on this back piece, and I can go and make a new sketch on it. And on that new sketch, if I go to Project Geometry, I can project the geometry of that key. I can see where the key is sitting and how much I want to cut away so I can access it. All right, so what do I actually want to do with this key? It looks like I might want to cut some away out of here or away out of here. And I can do that with both sides of those keys as well. So let's just make sure that we can get to this no matter what. I might decide to go ahead and put in an extra circle over here. I would say E for extrude. I would cut that out both directions. Notice if I don't go both directions because I have it on that one surface, I leave that gold bar up here on top. That's a 0 0.025 raised above the surface, so I want to make sure I get rid of that as well. So I have this switch to all going both directions and it looks like I'm cutting off the end of my lightning bolt here if I do that size circle. So I'm going to say OK. That's going to get rid of it. I'll go back into my extrusion into the sketch for that extrusion. I'm going to take a look at it one more time with regards to where that lightning bolt is and move it just a little bit out of the way. Now that I have it moved I can go back to fix the outside of this. So let's do this one more time. Let's say new sketch. And let's project our geometry here of this edge that we just made. So there I get my little center point for my circle. And I want this to again be Oh, it didn't go between the two circles. We can't have that. D for dimension, circle 1, circle 2, space between, 0 0.025. I'm also going to project the geometry of this edge and this edge, and I'm going to trim off that outside of the circle. So I should just be able to get this here which I think I did, but it's going way too high. Change that to the same height as everything else. And now it looks like it was part of it all along. That looks pretty nice. We might still go back and add a fillet uh, here on these sharp corners. If you don't like those sharp corners, that's one way you can get rid of those. And of course, you can do the same thing on the inside corners so it doesn't get super skinny in an awkward spot. Although it may not work for that one. We'd have to go back and do that manually. Okay. I might still want to go and do something like this to the other end. And again, this is just making sure I can actually access all of the keys that I want to access. Uh, this is up to you, but just know it will work better if you can actually get to those keys. So if you still want to keep some kind of a logo in the middle, that's fine, we can work around that. But let's make sure that you have something designed in place to where you can bump those out and get to whatever you need to get to.